Hatch has all your tools thoughtfully organized so you can easily access them. I'm Lindy Goodall, and in this video, I'll be your tour guide to help get you oriented. All levels of the software use the same layout, no matter if you're working in Organizer, Personalizer, Composer, or Digitizer. Higher levels just have more tools. Across the very top, we can see the main menus. Many of the menu items can also be accessed from the toolbars and toolboxes. Underneath, we have two rows of tools. These are context sensitive and can change depending on what you're doing. The large area in the middle of your screen is your design window. If you have multiple designs open, each one will appear in its own tab, and we can cycle through them just by clicking on their tab. Along the left side are the toolboxes. This is where you'll start most of the time. Toolboxes organize related tasks into groups to make it easy to find just what you want from opening designs to editing designs and adding new elements and finally saving and exporting. To access one, click on the little triangle and it'll pop open. If you want to switch to a different toolbox, click on that one. The other toolbox closes up and we only see the related tools. This keeps the interface from becoming too cluttered and makes it easy to find just the tool you need. You'll find these toolboxes in Organizer, these in Personalizer, these in Composer, and these in Digitizer. Also, there may be more tools added to the various toolboxes as you move up in levels. Along the bottom of the screen, we have the Design Colors toolbar and Related Tools over here on the right. Underneath, we have the status bar. On the far left, we can see a prompt, which will tell us either something to do or what Hatch is doing at the moment. As we move over, we can see various design information, such as the size, the stitch count, the selected fabric, and so on. On the right side of the screen, we see various dockers. Currently, I have them closed. We can pop them open as necessary. I can see the threads. I can close it. I can see various design information. Usually I'm working with the sequence docker open, and if I double click on an object, a stitch object, I'll get the object properties where we can change the stitch type or change any of its attributes. Now I am working in the digitizer version, so if you don't see this, it may not be available in your level. As with the toolboxes, what you see for dockers will depend on the level that you're using. Knowing how the screen is laid out and organized can help you get oriented so that you can find just what you need quickly and easily. 